Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome green screen effect without an RTX card, without an actual green screen, and without that OBS plugin that's usually quite heavy on the computer. You can use this for this right here, you can use it for a work stream like I do, or even a little bit of a gaming stream like you're seeing right now. This will work in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. I'm running Linux, so I'm going to show the process for it, but it's the same for every other operating system. First off, we're going to need Zoom. If you already have Zoom installed, you can click here to just jump this part of the video. Open up a web browser and look for Zoom Download. Click on the first link and for me, for some reason, it brings me to this OS equals Android. I don't want that, so I'm going to delete the part where it says Android and I'll have the download link for Linux. I'm using a Ubuntu based system, so this would work just fine, but I already have it installed, so you can just click on download, uninstall it on your machine. If you're on Windows, for example, and for some reason you were dropped on this page, Click here, type equals, and then Windows. This will start downloading the exe file. On a side note, if you're on Linux, you can also install it on the FlatHub, but this version is not official. When you log into your Zoom account, click on New Meeting, and you're going to be dropping something like this. Click on this little arrow, Video Settings, and you can enable Original Ratio and HD to have a little bit of a better quality, and go to Virtual Background, and here you can choose a different background if you want to. This will show on OBS or use a green image. I'll leave the link for this image in the description below, but you can make one real quick on GIMP or even Paint. It's just an image with 100% green. I'm gonna click on it. And this is the image I'm going to use. You can probably see how we're going to do this now. I'm going to make this window full screen and that's important so we have a little bit more quality because we're going to do a window capture. Here on OBS, we're going to click on this plus icon head over to window capture and now here on window select the zoom meeting option you can crop the image here if you want to but i don't like it i like to use the crop filters i'm gonna keep it at zero and also i'm going to disable this capture cursor because as you can see over there uh, it captures the cursor so turn it off and hit ok i changed its name to zoom camera for the sake of organization and with it selected click on filters click on this plus icon and let's add a crop pad and i'm going to eat a little bit of the sides because sometimes it shows a little bit of a line so i'm going to take off 20 pixels off of each side and on the bottom i'm going to hit 60 so my name goes away and a little option over there on the top too so about 40 should be good now click on the plus icon again and click on chroma key hit ok and since we have it green it should now work just fine now we can click close and I can move this on top. I'm going to toggle off my screen capture real quick so you can see my background and move myself to the corner, make it a little bigger. And now we have a working green screen. It's not perfect, but it's way better than having to have an RTX card to do something like this. And it is not very taxing on your computer. You can also use just a blur background if you want to over on Zoom and not having to deal with a chroma key. You have your room, but it will be blurred around you. I guess the main downside is that you need to have the Zoom window open somewhere on your computer, otherwise it will not work. If you minimize the window or close the window, OBS will not be able to capture it. Here on Linux, I can actually leave this thing running under a second workspace and I can just leave my work software on workspace one. Another thing you can play with is come over back to the Zoom meeting, click over here on the video settings and you see that I have this adjust for low light on. Let me put this to the side so you can see what it does. If I turn it off, it gets darker. I always leave this on, it tends to look a lot better and you also have this touch up my appearance thing which makes me look like a doll so I don't really use it. And you can also mirror the image. You'll notice on the virtual background tab, you have this option called I have a green screen. And when I toggle this on, you can see that part of my room becomes green. This is used in case you do have an actual green screen, like a piece of green cloth hanging around you. And if you don't have a great lighting for it, Zoom will make its AI magic and will work a lot better than just a regular cloth on OBS. So if you have an actual green screen, but you can't really light it properly, or it's not the perfect green shade, this will work really well for you. I can't really do this on my room because it gets like really damn hot and i think that having this off works honestly just as well 
you can probably notice it's lagging a little bit and that's because i'm recording a lot of stuff and i have other things open on my computer right now it is not this slow while live streaming i first saw this method on another youtube video but i can't find the link for it anymore so i don't know if it's still up i decided to make another one just to make sure people can actually use this awesome technique so that's it for this video if i want to see my actual stream using this setup the link will be in the description down below if i find something else interesting about streaming i'll probably do another video on it so if you find interest in that or in 3d like this whole scenery hit subscribe like and i'll probably see you in the next one i don't know bye